we're going to work an example problem here real quick where three project groups in um, in this 121 class have been running their fish tanks for long enough that not only do they have salt in the systems they also have built up significant amounts of hydroxide OH minus uh, in their systems and so that means these systems that they are running actually have uh, three different types of material in the system rather than two as you would in just a plain salt water system and uh, these three groups drain their systems all into a uh, container and that container uh, basically will at that point contain 829 grams of this solution that has uh, this mix over here um, based on the uh, you know this mix of percentages of the various uh, elements that are in there we also somehow we know what the composition is of the uh, amount of water in group A's system as well as group B as well as group C well based on all of this system we can actually figure out how much mass must have drained from each one of these uh, systems and the specific one we're asked to find is the amount of mass drained from group B from that system alright so where we need to start with this is we need to draw a little uh, picture that shows all of the flows uh, in and out um, of this system and what we mean by that is uh, we think of each of the three systems and I'll kind of I'll draw one of them over here I'll call that well let's see I'll draw one there I'll draw one here and I'll draw one here okay these are the three flows into the final mix and we'll kind of identify that final mix as what flows out of the system kind of that batch that got mixed up and we know that that's 829 grams that comes out right there we may as well, while we're in the middle of identifying that, we may as well identify the percentages of each uh, component in the system right there. So we have, um, let's see, 0.126%. I'm going to write these instead of percents. I'm going to write them as decimals. So I'll do 0 0.0126 uh, salt. I'll then do, I'm going to again, I'm going to write that. Uh, amount of hydroxide there, that percentage, instead of a percentage, I'm going to write it as a decimal. Okay, so 0 0.0047 OH minus. Okay, actually, um, got to be careful here. Uh, I think I did these first two uh, off by one decimal, right? So this is 0.1%, so I need to do 0 0.0126, 0 0.00126. Here I want to do 0 0.00047. Okay, then I want to do um, 0 0.99827. Uh, now one thing I want to point out is that uh, since we know all of these compositions, these should sum to 1 or sum to 100%. Okay, and that's kind of been taken for us already, taken care of for us already with the statement of this problem, but I just wanted to mention if those don't add up to 100%, then we got something else uh, kind of wrong with the problem, but they do add up to 100%, so we're good. All right. Uh, now let's actually identify each of the groups and what the content was that they drained into the final mix. I'll call this one A up here, I'll call this one B down here, and I'll call this one C down here. Okay, A is going to have point, uh, zero, zero, one, four, one NaCl. Here I'm going to have point zero, 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 four, five that's hydroxide and I'll do 0.99814 water okay for flow B I will have 0 0.00132 uh, NaCl I'll have 0 0.00 005 hydroxide 
and 0.99863. And all I'm doing with all of these is just um, expressing each of these percentages as decimals rather than as percentages. All right, now we have group C. We have uh, 0 0.00094. Uh, and that's salt and we have 0 .000 uh, yeah, uh, 83 hydroxide and then I have 0 .99823 uh, and that would be water All right, so that's our basically our process is we're going to take those three flows and mix them. What we need to do now is we need to write some equations uh, for each for some of the components that we are going to combine together. And very often um, I find it easiest to just start with an overall. So that's what I'm going to start here. So this is just all the all the mass that enters the mix should equal the mass that exits the mix. So that's the overall balance. Okay, this is pretty easy. We just have A plus B plus C should equal 829 grams. Okay, um, the next uh, you know, uh, balance that we're going to look at is going to be the salt balance. Okay, and one of the reasons we can do this, we're going to assume that no additional, uh, you know, reactions are taking place in these systems. Whatever material is already in the system, that's what we're going to keep on having. So the, the hydroxide will mix together in certain concentrations. Uh, some of these assumptions may not be true if you have um, reactions continuing forward. All right, so here we will take uh, 0.00141A. Okay, plus 0.00132B. Plus 0 0.00094. C, and this is going to be equal to uh, 0.00126 times the 829 grams that we get in the output. Okay. All right. So then slide that over a little bit that may have kind of gone off the screen just a tad all right then what we want to do is go to a another balance of some kind it doesn't have to be any particular one of these it can be water it can be uh, hydroxide but we need one more of these equations and so the next one that I'll pick is a water balance And so for this water balance, <clears throat> I'm going to have, let's see, 0.99814A plus uh, 0.99863B plus 0.99823 C okay that comes from this down here this is going to be equal to 0.99827 times uh, 829 grams okay 
So what's nice here is that what we've come up with is a system of three equations in three unknowns. And uh, it's a linear system of three equations in three unknowns, which means that we are in good shape to just use um, one of the tools that's available to us on these exams, and that is a, a Casio calculator. Okay, um, I'm going to choose a three by three system in here. So in case you're curious how I did that, you go mode, um, I'll tell you what I'll do, uh, mode five, that's how you get to the equation menu, and then I pick two, and here I'm going to enter one, one, and one, okay, that's basically the coefficients of A, B, and C, and then I'll put in here the amount of mass that I have on the right hand side of the expression, okay. The next one, I'll put in 0.00141, all right? Um, the next one I'll put in is 0.00132, okay? Then I'll do 0.00094, uh, okay? And then on the right-hand side of the equ equation, I would put in a 0.00126 times 829. All right. Lastly, we have the water balance equation. So for this, I'll put in 0.99814. That's that next term. The next term is 0 0.99823. 0 and then on the right hand side of the expression, I have 0 0.99827 times 0 0.99827. I think I got an extra 9 in there. 0 0.99827. <clears throat> okay, times. Uh, 829. Okay, so when we filled up the uh, matrix full of values, we just hit equals, and it will give us each of the uh, A, B, and C terms in the order that we put the coefficients in. So that first uh, value is going to be corresponding to uh, the value of A, and that will be 820.84 grams. Okay, so I'll just write these over here. Um, a is equal to eight, or excuse me, four twenty point uh, eight four grams. What we really want is this B term. That's what the problem asked us for. One seventy seven point five nine. Okay, I'm going to put a box around that one because that is ultimately what we want to choose from up here. Okay, it only goes out to that first decimal place, um, and so it looks like we would want to pick C. Okay, in case you're curious, that last term is also something we can find. We we'll just have to hit equals again, and it just is 230.57. Uh, grams. Okay, and so uh, there wasn't really anything special for this problem about why it asked for B as opposed to A or C. The idea is that if you can solve the problem you could pick, you could get any one of those three values from those three systems that would be draining into the final mix. So I hope this is helpful. This is an example of a system where there are three different components uh, of material mixed together, water, salt, and hydroxide. And in those cases, you can write three independent equations that can be solved simultaneously, and, um, and you can get all three of those variables that you're trying to solve for. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate that.